Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Inside Mobile Legends. Today, we will talk about patch 1.3.88, including new equipment items, revamped heroes, MCL, celestial level, more events and adjustments. Let's check it out. For a long time, support and tank heroes farm much more slowly than other heroes. However, they play important roles in a team. In order to solve this problem, we've integrated equipment items like Courage Bulwark and Wizard Boots and added a new tab called Roaming. All equipment items in this tab have two skills, Devotion and Thriving. They will help players to farm quickly without affecting teammates. In addition, the Tier 3 equipment items in this tab will have different skills to affect the results of matches. Therefore, players will not lose power by purchasing these equipment items first. We hope that it will bring a new game experience to tank and support players. In this patch, we've revamped two heroes, Bane and Argus. Bane's shark bite doesn't show its real power. Now Bane can summon a school of sharks, dealing damage to enemies and slightly knocking them up. If any of his skills hit enemy heroes, the CD of Shark Bite will be greatly reduced. Bane has not only control skills, but also is able to use Shark Bite more often. Another hero, Argus, is revamped in this version. His original first skill will lock the target and move to the target when he hits enemies with this skill. This restricts his option to attack. So we've changed this. Now when Argus casts first skill and locks onto one target, he can move in any direction. In addition, Argus' ultimate will remove all debuffs from him. So now he will not be afraid of control effects. At last, we've optimized his control and performance of his skills. Each time Argus triggers his passive to enhance his attacks, he will dash towards the target for a short distance. Along with these two revamped heroes, we are also releasing a powerful new hero, Dero. So stay tuned for more I reviews. Do what I want. A brand new competitive game mode, MCL, MLBB Championship League will be available soon. Players can enter the MCL from the new contest system. In MCL, we will divide players into different groups according to the player's region and the MCL League level. Players of all levels can compete in the MCL Championship. The champions can show off their titles on their profile, receive special battle emotes, and have the opportunity to unlock permanent skins. In addition, MCL is a seasonal contest, and all MCL weekly champions qualify for the championship finals. We will reveal more details on MCL in the future, so stay tuned. Many players often complain that they've invested much time and energy without any reward when they reach the max level. So they lost motivation to play the game. So we introduced two new systems, Celestial Level and Celestial Task. When players earn 6,000 experience after reaching level 30, they will unlock the all new Celestial Levels. Celestial Task will be unlocked too. Celestial Task refreshes three times a week refreshes four tasks of different qualities each time. Complete tasks for chances to get Celestial Chest Keys. Collect eight Celestial Chest Keys to open Celestial Chests. You can get huge amounts of items from Celestial Chest, including exclusive avatar borders, battle emotes, and painted skins. Rivals will start soon. Log in the game on July 6th and try your luck at unlocking some epic skins. Season 13 is coming, with a new season coming soon. Players who ranked Master or Above in Season 12 will be able to unlock the season exclusive skin, Vexana Imprisoner, so make sure you rank up. In order to help players know about different equipment items, we've added Equipment Book in preparation. 
you can check the details of all equipment items. We've also added short descriptions to all level 3 equipment items. At last, we've optimized the equipment purchase experience. You can choose two different purchase modes when you buy equipment on the battlefield. New players have been struggling with which lane their hero should take, and with the launch of roaming equipment, more players may be wondering which heroes will fit into roam positions. Don't worry. In the new update, we have recommended lanes for each hero. You can select a hero through the icon in the upper right corner on the hero's portrait, or tap Hero Display outside the battlefield to view it. In previous patches, Heroes who casted direction-based blink skills would immediately stop if they crashed into an obstacle. In this patch, when heroes who cast direction-based blink skills hit an obstacle, they will continue to move along the edge of the obstacle until the skill ends. In this patch, Enhanced Retribution will not only deal damage to one enemy hero, but also deal damage to the nearest creep. Additionally, We've added one passive to each jungling equipment item. When players purchase jungling equipment, they will gain extra attribute bonuses according to the creeps they kill. Creeps killed before they purchase jungling equipment will also be counted towards attribute bonuses. The map in Brawl just got a new facelift. We've also updated our Brawl mode with more elaborate barrel bombs, more cool turrets, and an all-new map. A more exciting brawl mode is coming to the Necro Keep. That's all for this episode. Thanks for watching. More content, heroes, and events will be released soon. So stay tuned. And let us know what kind of content you'd like to see in our future videos by leaving a comment below. Until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn. Download for free, Mobile Legends Bang Bang!